This is part three of the pavement marking series. You can see we have the arrows from the previous two videos, and now I've included the last set of pavement marking blocks. Let's dive in. The first one is the HOV marking block. This indicates a high occupancy vehicle. So let's say we want to designate this lane right here as a HOV lane, carpool lane. So what you do is you grab the block by the insertion point, grab the rotation, and O snap it to the lane line and move it over into the um, middle of the lane. Okay, so now this lane is a carpool lane. All of you gross polluters who drive by yourself, you can't use this lane. This is only for two or more people in the car. Okay, the next one is the railroad crossing symbol. Same thing, grab it by the insertion, O snap it to the lane, rotate it and O snap it to the lane, move it over to the middle of the lane. And now we're warning drivers that there's a railroad crossing coming up. Let's move these out of the way. The next symbol that we're going to go to is the bike lane. Okay, so we want to designate our bike lane here. We want to stripe our bike lane, I should say. Grab it by the insertion and then rotate it to fit the lane. You know the drill. And then this block has one little trick up its sleeve. So if you click on it, you have a visibility grip and you have a bunch of different choices for how you're gonna show your bike lane. You can show it like we have here with the words bike lane, or you can go with the bicyclist, or you can go with a bike. The other option that you have is a shared bike lane. And last but not least is you have a bike detection loop. So you can drag this up, put it up here, and it lets the bicyclist know they need to park on the stripe to trigger the traffic loop. Okay, uh, next up is the speed limit. Let's go ahead and put this in the lane like I showed you before. I'm not going to repeat the steps because I think you've heard it enough. And the same thing, we have a visibility grip and you get to choose your speed. So you have, you know, 30 miles per hour, 35, so on and so forth. I'm going to make this a 45 mile per hour road. Okay, let's go to the yield symbol next. So we will O snap this to the lane and then use the rotation and use a perpendicular O snap to line it up perpendicular to the lane. And now you can see the stretch grip. What that allows you to do is stretch the symbol to span the entire lane. So you can show your yield triangles to indicate to drivers that they need to yield to cross traffic. This is typically used in a you know a right hand turn lane where it's not stop controlled. It's a it's a yield controlled right hand turn lane, or in a cul de sac where the drivers entering the cul-de-sac need to yield to the drivers that are already in the cul-de-sac. Okay, so the last block is the word legend. Same deal, grab it by the insertion, rotate it, O snap it to the lane line, and then center it. And are you ready for it? When you hit the visibility grip, look at all those words that you have. You have all these choices. You know, you could have, let's say this one is going to be a signal ahead. Let's take this guy, copy it down, and then take the same block, copy it up, and we'll use the ahead symbol, okay? So you can see with the options that you have here, it's gonna cover most of the situations that you could possibly encounter. As mentioned earlier, these blocks are available for sale on my website. The link to the website is in the description below. Thanks for watching and take care.